Oh, time to do something with this hair before I head out. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like normally. It's kind of crazy. I'm gonna get it all straightened up, put a little bit of makeup on, and get ready for the day. My eyes like aren't even open yet. Hey guys, what is up? Tabs McCaffrey here from the Urban Goddess Shop. Welcome to my vlogmas. I've never done this before. It's my first time and I'll be honest, I will not be able to do daily videos. Like it's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna try and put out some more videos and content. It'll be a little bit more of a day in my life. I, I don't know, I'm pretty excited. If you haven't noticed, I'm wearing glasses today. Uh, <laughs> I had dry eye the other day and I haven't worn my glasses in months. In winter time, I tend to wear my glasses a lot more. It is a little bit of a different look. I don't know if there's gonna be a glare. Uh, oh my gosh, I am tired looking guys, tired. Let's talk what we're gonna be doing today. Today, I gotta ship some packages out from sales from yesterday so we can go over that. I gotta do some sourcing. I do have a few items, but I really wanna just go hit the store. I haven't been thrifting since the Thursday before Black Friday. I really wanna have a good solid, you know, hour in the thrift store to go through all the sections and see what's been brought out. That's it. And I. I have to do some Christmas shopping, <laughs> but I can't bring you guys along in case anyone watches these videos. Let's get this rolling. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. I'm gonna pause. Mm. Pause and take a minute, enjoy my coffee, and start my car, get ready. Let's hit the road. like put a lot of effort into this one. Ooh, let's go over these. Uh, I grabbed this Columbia by Czech Comps. They weren't that great. And then I also had another puffer that was an Ari one. I never sell Ari in my shop. Uh, I think they were asking about 10 bucks for the item. I just wasn't sure. <laughs> really didn't check comps on it. Just put it back. Uh, and this next one is a North Face, which I absolutely love. But they were asking $24 for it. Maybe if it was 12 bucks, I would have grabbed it, but not $24. <laughs> and then this last one, I was hoping it was down. I grabbed it in a rush, but it wasn't down filled. So I'm going to stick it back. I love the style of this sweater. I put it in my cart, but I'm actually returning it back to the store. When I got home, it was like shrunk weird. And the same thing with this sweater. It just had a weird shrinkage to it. I don't know how to describe it. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. And then this Grampinet, super cool. If it would have been vintage, definitely would have grabbed it. But with it not being vintage, it just doesn't sell for very much. I loved this merino wool sweater. But the texture of it was kind of off. I stick it in my cart, but when I got to the till, I actually gave it back to her. I didn't end up buying it. And then this gem of a piece. I have sold two of these. Uh, what is it? Northern Elements. I've sold two of these on Etsy between $50 and $75. So you know I'm grabbing that one. I've been trying to source some mountain like hiking pants. And these were Sierra Designs. I don't even know who puts it out, but they were asking 10 bucks for them, and they're not even a brand name, so I stuck those back as well. Now this Roots, I'm having some regrets. I probably should have just grabbed it. It's $13. It is a men's. I could have listed in women's. I don't know. Sometimes they sell well, sometimes they don't. I just stuck it back and left it. And this next piece, this is probably one of my favorite pieces. It's a vintage mountain equipment co-op puffy vest. I love the colors. It was so cool. If it was my size, I would keep that one. <laughs> and then a TNA Aritzia sweater. Nice style, good color, very on trend. You gotta grab those. And then this piece, 
I really had to think about this piece. I love the texture knit of it. I did not like the fringe on the neckline. I've also never carried Parkhurst. I don't know what their resale value is. I honestly didn't even check comps because that neckline just gave me all the bad vibes. <laughs> I couldn't stand it. I was like, ah. <laughs> Speaking of bad necklines, this sweater, not my favorite either, but it was a Northern Reflections and it was a cotton knit. So I'm gonna take a chance on it and see how it does. Who knows? Sometimes I roll the dice too. And then, oh yeah, this Carhartt, awesome awesome condition a little bit pricey but it was in too good of condition to pass up and the last piece is this like suede leather vest and it's fleece lined very yellowstone vibes i loved it i just sold another piece and used the keywords yellowstone it'll do fine all right let's go all right i think i have what i want to keep and i'm going to do one more sweep over to the shoes and then i'm out of here. Actually, psych. I'm going to go look at the coffee mugs. <laughs> okay, just got home. I uh, had to do a few more errands than I thought I would. But it is time to list. I had some lofty listing goals today. I'm just gonna like turn off that light. I had some real lofty listing goals and I think I was hoping to get 20 to 30 listed, but realistically, I think I'm gonna shoot for like 15 to 20 listings. It's 2.30 right now. I wanna get my photos done while the light is still good and then i'll kind of do my listing later you can kind of relax and list and hopefully the girls will just come hang out with me while i do that here is the pile of what i have to do this is shoes and these are like the pairs kind of thing i had i did a thrift haul and i split them up that i didn't want to list before black friday just because i knew i was going to do a pretty aggressive sale uh, so I'm going to get those things listed now and I'm just going to set you guys up and let you kind of watch the process of what I do, how I, how I list these things. And yeah, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments and we're just going to keep rolling with the day. I think before I get started, I'm going to show you my setup what I work with, how I kind of keep things organized. Usually I have like all my inventory kind of just stacked on the table. These are the things that I want to go through. I'll usually hang them up in, you know, maybe stacks of three to five and I'll steam them. Sorry, my house is a mess. We've, we've just been super busy the last couple of weeks. Uh, I'll usually do any steaming or prepping that I have to do. And then this right here, is where the magic happens. This is like the hook that bears the weight of my entire business. <laughs> and I'll photograph them here and then I hang them up here and I usually like hang them in a sequential order and then that way when it's time to list, I just literally pick one up, put it there, do all the information, measure it and inventory it, put it into the bag down there, the Ikea bag. Once that Ikea bag is full of inventory that I've bagged with my numbers, then they go upstairs to my inventory room. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what kind of angles you're supposed to do. This whole vlogging thing is a little bit foreign, but okay, I gotta get started. You guys are gonna watch. I hope you enjoy watching this process. to keep all my tags in a pile and then this way if I find any flaws oh my gosh I can't even find it right now. ah it's on the hanger if I find any flaws while I'm sorting through and photographing something uh, especially things that I get from value village I'm gonna just re-tag it and bring it back next time I haven't washed it I haven't done anything with it when you start to pay up for items and you find flaws I don't know I will send it back, I'll return it. So I'll, I'll be back at Value Village in the next week to buy some more things and 
I will return the item. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Alright, perfect example. What is the second item? And I found a flaw. I'm gonna show you guys. See, okay, so it's a beautiful North Face puffer, but it has like a tear in the back. I paid $23. I'm gonna fix this really quickly. So it was tagged right here. I'm just gonna pop that tag. Pop that tag back on. tagged going back to the store uh if this item only would have been like 10 bucks i probably would have just sucked it up and kept it and sold it but the fact that i paid 24 dollars for it mm, no nope. gonna send this one back been 35 minutes I photographed oh, hold on let's just see I photographed so there's three six nine 13 items and I'm just gonna do some shoes too so if I can get seven pairs of shoes that'll give me 20 things to list later on and I think that should be good. Were you guys watching how I do photographs? Like I do the same thing for every um, item. It should be pretty quick and easy when you're photographing. Easily I could do, you know, the however many I did. What did I do? 13 in 35 minutes, easily. I And like when I'm trying to plow through, I could probably do 25 to 30 in an hour just photographing pretty quick and easy just i think the key to it is having processes things that you do the same so the same kind of pictures that you're taking every time uh you're doing the same you know angles the tag the collar the pocket whatever your angles are i think mine is usually one two three four five six about seven to eight pictures an item is what i shoot for and that seems to kind of cover it and give me everything that I need. But um, yeah, I don't know. If you guys have any questions about this process, drop them down below and let's get photographing some shoes and boots. Okay, 20 items done. Those shoes took way longer than I thought they were gonna take. But I feel like shoes usually do. I have to like just sit down, clean them up, get them ready, photograph them. I feel like I'm good with what I've listed 
And the last thing to do today is going to be to go upstairs and package. I'm gonna take you up into my office and we gotta package up a few parcels from the last day. All right, heading upstairs now. <laughs> And my GoPro died, so I'm gonna pop you guys into here. I have one more item to grab, and it's this sweater, and that's it. I'm going to bulk print my labels now. I have them on my laptop, and I'll just get these packaged, and they're ready to go. Okay, guys, this is it. That's the end of my day. A little bit of a day in the life. Um, it's actually kind of uneventful being a reseller. Most days you just spend your time running your business, right? You got a source, you got a list, you got a ship. Those are the tasks that you just have to do over and over and over until you are efficient and you have good processes. I've worked really hard to get good processes going. The shipping part, this is the easy part. For me, it's, it's the sourcing that's the most time consuming, but this is a day in the life as uh, in the Urban Goddess shop. What'd you guys think? Was it fun? Um, I'm gonna try and do, let's just open this window. I'm gonna try and do some more content like this where I kind of do that day in the life where you get to come around with me, see what I'm doing, how do I do my day. I, I did manage to source a bunch of stuff today, uh, get 20 items photographed, which I'll probably have those listed later on and get my shipping done. And then obviously do some stuff with my kids. I went on a sushi date, which I didn't show you guys. I went on a sushi date with Lena. And what else did we do? Oh, some stuff was wrong with her car. We had to go buy some parts. Uh, and it is snowing. I'm gonna show you guys out here. <laughs> All right, that's it. So Vlogmas video number one. I don't know if this was a success or what to expect or what to do, but I thought the first video would be fun just to do like hang out with me. Come hang out with a day in the life of being a reseller. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I still have a what sold video that's going to be coming out next. I had $2,500 in sales. Actually, I think I had a little bit more than $2,500 last week so i'm going to do the what sold video for that and then i'm also going to discuss with you guys my secret strategy on how i got those sales i had a crazy sales month in november and i'm going to go over some of those strategies as well so make sure you stay tuned for those and i have one more thrift haul to show you guys and then i'm just going to keep doing these vlog videos they're kind of fun okay i'm out of here i hope you guys have a wonderful day I hope you have amazing thrift trips this week. I hope you get all your Christmas shopping done that you have to get done and have a wonderful week. Okay, I'm out of here. Bye.